Hello guys, Kevin Esther here. 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 The Loud House is an animated Nickelodeon show made in 2016, played by its creator Chris Savano. The show is about a brother and his 10 female siblings. To put in perspective, think of the Brady Bunch meets the Peanuts. And for 5 years, the show was very popular that it even had its own spin-off called the Casa Grandes and then a gosh darn Netflix movie. The Loud House movie is an animated family film on Netflix that was out in 2021. The movie has a lot of things that you expect from a Loud House film. Family, adventure, magic, Scotland, So I decided for myself to review this movie. However, I'm not able to get to Netflix because Netflix decided to pay you to watch a movie. So I decided to do the legal thing to do. And just to let you know, this is a unscripted review. I did watch the movie, but I will, you know, just tell you. But before I review the movie, let me just tell you the show. The series focus on the black sheep of the family, Ethan Loud, along with his ten sisters that are focused often in the series, trying to play survivor of the fittest in the family. But Ethan being the only boy child in the family, he finds ways to survive the loud household environment and assert Sigma male in dominance over his siblings. Hence, this fighting scene. But in some parts of the series, he can thus help and lead his siblings depend on the situation of their episode. So in a way, he is a Signa male. First, let's introduce the Loud Sisters, organizing them by size from big to small, only admitting the last one as my favorite. Lori, the Ashley Tins girl with a film addiction. Lenny, the stereotype counterpart of Paris Hilton. Luna, the average annoying garage band lesbian. Luann, a daughter with dad jokes. Hey, at least they're good jokes. My nigga, you just got roasted. Yeah. Yeah. My nigga, you just got roasted. Yeah. 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 Lynn, Fanboy Scott, Lola, Toddlers and Tiaras, the animated series. Lana, Tomboy Scout. Lisa, no, not that one. And Lily, I don't know, she cursed like in one episode. No, no, Lily, that's not for you. Fuck!
Watch your profanity. And our last mysterious new character is Lucy. in this series, Lucy is one of my favorite. The reasons are because she's kind of mysterious. From the looks of her black bang bang hair, other than Lincoln, she's treated as a shadow by her family and sometimes she's cynical and environmentally aware of the world. But also she's environmentally moderate and sometimes expressive. She takes pride in her interests and things she loves no matter what people think of. And she is the reason why I am interested in the mind and the life of emo and goth subculture. Her outfit features good goth fashion. She's like a mannequin with a personality and feelings but in a good way. So calm down, I like her as a related character, I'm not an ant cat. Now since we explained all the main characters in the show, now let's get straight to review the movie. So I hope you guys bought all of your popcorn, because we're about to have one hell of a review. The movie starts 22 years before the start of the original series, which is like uh, 1999. Here we are first introduced to Lynn and Rita with their first sight seeing each other before they became a family. Now, I like how the music has a 90s alternative vibes to it. I don't know, it just gets me. But the animation of the movie and transition to their life is so indifferently splendid. It's like you don't know the difference between the show and the movie. They look similar. Then we are introduced to the rest of the Loud family, including Lincoln. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Why does Lucy look like that? Wasn't it established in season 2 in the Wakia that Lucy's hair looked like that because they were creeped out by her staring? Except Lucy. She just stared at us. Yeah, that's why we grew her bangs out. I can still see you. <laughs> Maybe this family isn't very truthful with us. Maybe Lucy wasn't just born out of Rita's room and was actually a test subject for a gene editing project using the invention known as CRISPR, therefore making Lucy the first designer baby. But hey, it could be a theory. A film theory. Okay, one more. After that warm prologue, we first see Lincoln and Lily as he teaches Lily the basics of surviving the Loud family. Lesson number 374, breakfast burrito Saturday. Now that you have teeth, you'll want one of Dad's famous breakfast burritos all to yourself, which means it's you against them at the table. Don't worry, because your big brother is the man with the plan. First row, we do not talk about it. However, the rest of the sisters are already gotten up, ready to take their dad's breakfast burritos. Oh, nigga! Ah! <laughs> Dick. Oh, sorry, Lily. So much for watching and learning. Back up, friend. <laughs> the student has become the master. Yeah, I'm very sure that this part of the scene would never be used in the end of the movie again. 
Then we found out that the rest of the sisters has a busy activity schedule. You all have activities today? Not me. I just have my fashion show. It's an activity, honey! <laughs> Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Oh yeah, I forgot. This is a Nickelodeon movie. Whenever something goofy happens, the movie expects that kid to laugh at it. However, not all hope is lost as Leakin decided to help all the sisters' activities. Shut up, bitch. There was an episode about that. And... Wait, why am I hearing an introduction of music? They say it doesn't matter how you why is Link insane? So why do I wish I Wait, it's a musical? The movie is a goddamn musical? So why do I what is this? Frozen? Is this Cats? The Greatest Showman? See that SFM Left 4 Dead musical? Yeah, I know that's not the point, but it's so sudden. An animated family sitcom turned into a movie musical. Kinda weird. That would be like having the Jetsons having their own movie musical. Oh. I just think that it's weird to make it into a musical. It doesn't add up. Yes, I know the introduction music in the first scene of the movie was an example. But I don't think that just suddenly means it's a musical. To me, I thought the scene was an origin to the Loud Family. Now this does not mean I hate musicals. But making a Nickelodeon animated sitcom into a movie musical is just beyond me. Though, I do have one concern. Why is Lucy getting popular? All she did was one digging a grave. Unless this town is full of golf morticians, that ain't cutting it. I also want to bring another note. You know this guy named Flip? This man had the nerve to hit Lincoln with a broomstick like a fucking rag doll. Because child cruelty is so funny. A Nickelodeon movie, everybody. So after that jagged little pill moment, we also see Lincoln with his best friend Clyde. Name one thing that makes me special. You've read every single Ace Savvy comic twice. You're the fifth best junior magician in Royal Woods. And that history report you wrote? It was like I was at the signing of the Declaration of Independence. That's four! Anyone could do those things. Admit it, Clyde. I'm always gonna be stuck in my sister's shadows. Okay, one, with that logic, maybe someone is already good at golf. Or rock. Or science. Two, no one in your family besides you are any good at magic. Though, I do have to give Lucy the exception. After eating Clyde's yummy cream puffs, Lincoln finds out that Clyde's cooking talents came from his family's genes. That's where I met my great Nana May, who owns a bakery in Paris. Bonjour. She told me about my great great Nana Colette, who ran a crepe shop in Calais. Bonjour. And my great 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 Nana Helene, who baked for the French royal family. Enchanté. I don't like where this is going. can't fight your genes, it's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! You just gave me an awesome idea! You're the best best friend ever! Oh no, Clyde. What have you done? Now he's gonna use 23 and me, and now he's gonna become an American neo-Nazi.